oh my gosh this looks so good like oh my gosh i might be freaking van gogh in this like y'all don't see it yet but can't do trip can't do trip diamonds on my wrist can't trip give me a little sun to remember Tryna make love in a sprinter yeah. Bitch, drop a nigga like Kimba Right, wow. looking like a right swipe on Tinder <laughs> Shit on these hoes Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Asha Tosh If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Asha Some people call me, you know, Asha Some people call me Tosh Some people put it together and call me Asha Tosh Whatever you prefer um, Today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A paint with me so let's get into the questions. So I asked everybody on my Instagram to um, comment some questions. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me at Ashakash. You know, everything you can find me is at Ashakash. So I'm about to pull it up, these questions. I have a ton of questions. You guys can't see, but I do have a ton of questions. And let's talk about the art that I'm gonna be doing today. So um, I'm gonna be doing pouring art acrylic pouring if you guys know what i'm talking about comment down below i'm pretty sure you guys know what acrylic pouring, pouring is so i don't have a really good medium like a mixing medium but i saw if you mix tap water or distilled water with elmer's all glue purposing glue then you should create yourself a good mixing pour uh mixing so i did that <laughs> And I have all these acrylic paints. I have the color red. I have this light pink. I have the white. It's not really white. It's like, it says um, antique white. And then I got black. And I have this hot pink. It says pretty pink. So we're going to start with the first question, which is, where do you want to be at in your life by the end of this year? Hopefully, I'll be, again, moved out. And I have a team of people behind me helping me to get to the next level. Um, if that's a manager, if that's a publicist, if that's an assistant, if that's an editor. Like, I want a whole team behind me so I can be the very best. Um, I want, you know, family, of course, around me, my friends. Um, that's really all I can ask for for this year. I don't really have really high expectations set up expectation because when you always set up expectations they never fall through right so i'm this year i really haven't been um expecting a lot i've been just going with the flow and i've been blessed with a lot so far this year so i'm kind of staying with that mindset of just working hard and don't have a goal towards it but just just keep working hard like try to be consistent with everything so that's that's what I'm really doing this year. One question is, how many tattoos do you have and what do they mean? Um, I have seven tattoos now. Um, I have a video about my tattoos. I'll link it down below because they really have like really deep meanings. Um, and they all have like their own little story to them. So I'd rather you guys just go to that video and figure out all the means of my tattoo than me sitting here explaining every single one. But yeah, I did just get some butterflies behind my ear and I'm not really a fan of them yet. I wish, uh, I don't know, they just not, they're not me yet. So I think I'm gonna get them retouched up, re um, covered up. So I just wanna tell you guys about that one just because I, I haven't really shown you guys that one, nor have I talked about it, but that's because I really want it redone. So I'm not gonna really talk about it until like I have them to where I want it to be. What is your sign? If you don't know, my sign is a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. If you not, if you didn't know, that's like the best sign in the whole signage. <laughs> um, specific type of guy or specific type of dude. Um, I don't really have a type, but I was just on live a few seconds ago, and I was like, dang, I think I do have a type, which is a pretty boy. I really like pretty boys. If you guys don't know, pretty boys. They care about their appearance. They like look good. They look fresh all the time. I think that would be my, my, if I was to say that I have a type, I would think that would be my type. I think a lot of the guys that I date, that I, um, they're just pretty boys. They're just, you know, suave, sexy, businessmen, you know? That's just how, that's just how it is. It's just how it is. It's not like I'm over here searching for it. It's just like what attracts me is that, you know? Will you be my girlfriend? 
no i'm actually not dating right now i'm just trying to focus on me this year and focus on the bag focus on modeling like i'm starting up a lot of new things that i, I just can't I feel like relationships slow down the vision, basically. Are you and Kayla still friends from Kane Kosh? Um, yes, me and Kayla are still friends. We've been trying to link, but it's just like our schedules are just a little too busy right now that we haven't been able to like find time to actually meet up and just hang out. But you know, when we do, I don't even think we're gonna post about it because you know, I feel like our relationship like was hindered because every time we would be together, we would have to post about each other being together. It really just put a little, like, you know, it messed up our friendship. So I don't know if we would do that, you know, if we were to see each other, like we wouldn't make it public. I mean, we might, it just really, I, it's really up in the air. I don't really know. What motivates you on a daily? Um, what motivates me on a daily is waking up at, in my parents' home. Like I don't want to be, living under my parents, I don't wanna be using none of their stuff. I don't want, it's just like, I feel like I'm taking from them. I feel like I'm too old to be here. They don't make me feel this way. That's just how I feel inside. So yeah, that's really what motivates me every day to like go hard. And also my dog, um, if you guys don't know, I have a dog. And basically having a dog is basically like having a child. So like the same feeling like a mother has when they, about their child, I have the same thing about my dog because you know, he has to eat, he has to look good. I have to work hard for me, him to do all of this. So you know what? I gotta work hard for that. So yeah. What's your biggest motivation? What gets you to do everything? Well, I just, thank you Shay, but I, I just answered that. That's so crazy how people have the same questions. Uh, if you had the choice to do one thing for the rest of your life, what would you do? Is getting pampered a thing? Like I'll get my eyelashes done, I'll get my nails done. I'll get my hair done like I love that if I could do that every day if I could sit and do my makeup every day and not worry about anything for the rest of my life I feel like I would do that <laughs> but I don't know how I would survive but that's something I would do are there any countries you would like to visit in Africa um, I guess Nigeria especially Egypt Kenya South Africa I would like to visit a lot of the countries in Africa I feel like, you know, I'm African American, so I'm from Africa. I might not have any real roots in Africa, but I know I'm from there and I would love to visit where I'm from. Like I'm foreign, you know, type thing. And I just don't know where I'm from, but hopefully I can do that experience one day with my family and like go back to the motherland and like see everything. What happened between me and Destiny? See, the thing is I have real love for Destiny and the situation that broke us apart was very stupid and very childish. And I feel like a simple conversation would fix it, but honestly, I don't know if I need to forgive somebody for the things that the things that she did. I feel like she took something that she did to the group and like targeted me because I because I was ready to leave. Like it's a long story. Um, I might need to do a I might need to do a chick chat get ready with me talk about that situation why. I'm not doing any videos with Sig Mafia anymore. Well, I don't really mess with any of the people part of the situation. And really like, I should have learned from the first instant that I shouldn't have been messing with them, that they weren't the right people for me. But you know, I'm also that type of person that forgives and tries to work with people even though you know you shouldn't, but you know, you live and you learn. And that's just a lesson that I had to learn, relearn. Where do you live? I live in Georgia. So let me get to um, starting on this. I'll get back to the questions once I start on this. So basically, I think you just pour and that's really the art. So I just made all the colors while while I was actually answering the questions. But you know, I need a pour to like really start to make the, um, the art. So I don't even know, have a, con a concept of like how I'm gonna pour it. I'm just gonna like do the damn thing. That actually came out really pretty. And you know, like with pouring, you're you're supposed to like move it after that. And that looks so pretty. That looks like, I don't know what that looks like, but that looks like cotton candy, dripping, pretty. Okay, I gotta keep going. But uh, this is coming out really pretty. And I just started, so I'm actually very excited now. Um, I might sell this. <laughs> if this comes out really hot, just gonna let y'all know. Um, 
Where will I sell it? I don't know. But it will be sold. Because I don't think I have anywhere to put this. Ooh. I'm so scared, but like, this space that I have can get messed up on. Oh, it's already pouring out. This is it's supposed to pour, Asha. It's supposed to pour. Okay. And it's okay if it gets on the table. That's what the, you, you bought this for. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Like, oh my gosh. I might be freaking Van Gogh in this. Like, y'all don't see it yet, but let me, oops, shit. Oh, I actually might know what I'm doing. Cause like, look at this. I have to put some more on this side. But like, that looks really, really nice. I like whatever is on this, whatever this is, that looks nice. I wish, I wonder how I can get whatever this is on the thingy on here. Cause this is like dripping. So like this got the dripping. I want the little mixing. Hmm. I'm actually, you know what? I know what I need to do. Ooh, this is really messy. I'm glad, I mean, I'm just glad I'm doing it where I'm doing it, just know that. <laughs> Shit, this got me feeling like I'm Van Gogh in this bitch. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel good. I feel like I'm an artist for real. All right, so this is my painting. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna stop doing stuff to it because I feel like I have the too much gene. If I keep where I'm going, it's not gonna look as pretty. It's very abstract. It's very um, vanguard, very, you know, to each you, your own. I really like what's going on here. I like what's going on right here and right here. I don't know, I really like this. It's very like, It'll make people look like you'll have to do this. Like, what? what is it? Which I like, because art it doesn't need to be explained. It just needs to be done. I should have brought gloves down here or some freaking something for my hands. Because how am I going to open my phone? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll be back. I have to wash my hands and I'll come back and answer all the rest of the questions, okay? Why am I such a bad bitch? And this was sent to my from my best friend. Um, Cause if I've gotta be a bitch, I'd rather be a bad one, you know? If I gotta be one, I'd rather be a bad one. Um, what's your favorite hobby? I love you by the way, and I love you too. My favorite hobby, um, I guess getting my nails done. I'm a nail enthusiast, and I guess my favorite hobby is to get my nails done. I like to do fun things with my nails, I like to do crazy things with my nails. So yeah, I guess that's my hobby, one of my hobbies. So self love tip: um, just take a minute in the day and do your affirmations. I mean, that was one of the biggest things that I've been doing since 2018, and I feel like I've seen a very big difference in my life. Well, I, I've been doing them since 2019 consistently. And I would say like, that's really the biggest change I've done in my life that I feel like has made me a better person. Like, I don't talk negative towards me, myself anymore. So I always do my, I am smart, I am kind, I am deserving of love, I am kind, I am thoughtful, I am successful, I am hardworking. I just say those, like every day and it just reminds me of the truth and it just lets all of the negative be washed away because those statements that I'm saying are the truth. How did me and Kara become friends? Um, she shot me a DM 
And I really rarely get in my DMs, but now I'm starting to go through my DMs more. And like I saw her, and I um, and I saw a few of her videos, so I was like, oh my gosh, she wants to hang out with me. I would love to hang out with her. So like she shot her shot, and like she scored. And like now we're like really we're, we're getting to come real close. I am I'm enjoying her company. We've only been hanging out for like a month now, and she's dope peoples. Okay, favorite place to go out to eat, Sequoia Del Sol. If you don't know, that's literally my favorite place to go out, and I love to take people there. Um, if you could change lives with some, change lives with someone, who would it be? I really personally love my life. I wouldn't change lives with anybody, but if I had to, for, like for a day, um, hmm, who would I want to be for for a day? I really want to say Beyonce to see how, like, just to see. Not for like her money, just to see her drive and her like how hard she works. And if I can just get a little peek of like how hard she works, then I will work as hard as she works every day. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two siblings. I'm the only girl and I'm the middle child of two boys. So I have two brothers, is what I'm saying. Do you have a favorite song lyric and why? Hmm, I do have a favorite song lyric. I probably, I already like quoted it, but it's Drake, um, relations slow down the vision, like, cause it's facts. And literally I say that probably like maybe once or twice a day to somebody when people ask me something and I just, you know, I quote a lot of Drake throughout everything. Most of my Instagram um, captions are Drake um, lyrics if people like notice, so yeah. <laughs> what was your first job? Did you like it? My first job was at Boston Market and I absolutely love the job. Actually being there for like three months, I was already about to be manager, but I moved so I couldn't stay at the job. I enjoyed it because of two things. I was able to interact with people and, and be able to serve people. Like, I don't know, I really like to serve people. Like, not like be a server or be, but like helping people and like, you know, spending my time doing that. So I actually really enjoyed doing that. So that's one thing I could say that I enjoyed when I was working at Boston Market. I enjoyed, and I enjoyed being on the cashier, talking to people, being nice, making people's days because, you know, they come in for food. But, you know, you can always be nice. You can, uh, you know, service with a smile is always nice. So I enjoyed doing that. Um, so, yeah, I did like my first job. Would I go back to um, working fast food? No. But did I like it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I have a great time with my life. And I want to share it. Greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste you know it's something that truly exists in all of us